So today we're gonna be cooking three pound brisket. It's gonna have beef rub right here from Traeger and mixed in with some coffee rub, also Traeger made. This video is simply gonna be simple, to the point, step-by-step, -step, everything. Um, I didn't actually think about making this video until after um, I've already rubbed it. Um, and I'll go over that quickly, um, so that way you don't miss out on that. Um, basically, I wanted to start this YouTube channel to basically help the new people that are coming into the either Traegers or other smokers in general. Um, my family and friends all have Traegers and they've taught me some things here and there and I've looked up YouTube videos on certain things. So I'm new to this whole thing. I ask them a million questions all the time. I'm constantly researching on YouTube, on Traeger websites, other websites. And uh, one of the things that I was missing out of videos and from friends of mine were that they were cutting out some things. Um, you know, they weren't telling me about, hey, you gotta pull it out or, you know, oh, you gotta flip it or you have to, you know, add something to it halfway through, you know, stuff like that. Little things that are gonna help you that just get left out because people think that you, hey, you already know, but like me, I don't. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to make a YouTube channel again that is just simple, straight to the point, and helps new people like me. Because we all have to learn somewhere. And I'm one of those guys, and I just know how it feels to feel kind of dumb when it comes to this. So hopefully this will help out, and a lot of you guys will like it. Basically, what I started with was bare bone, right? So, meat got it right out of the package. You can see right about here, you can see all this fat. Well, this had about a quarter inch of fat on it. I personally don't like the fat. Other people do. You can leave the fat on there. Preferably, you want the fat on the bottom. So, when you put it on the rack, the racks are gonna be down here. You had to set it on there, it could be just like that. But for me, I didn't like it, especially on this one. This one had about a quarter inch of just a fat layer. And I had to just shave it off with a knife. And I left some of it on, I mean, it's no big deal, but for me, I just don't like that much fat, let alone fat at all. Um, but anyway, so getting back into this, started with the beef rub, really doesn't matter. Especially with the brisket, you don't wanna short it. You you wanna just bake it on there. You wanna get this nice little charcoal on there. Um, the charcoal will actually be, once you actually start cooking, you'll see it. But for now, I'll just add some more. I did some of this this morning. I woke up really early in the morning and started this. So you just wanna go ahead and lather it up. I'm gonna do lightly, but when you guys do it, go ahead and put it on real thick. Put some of that coffee in there. over to the other side and you don't want to forget about the edges you want to get every part of this like I said don't be stingy with it and it depends on how spicy or whatever you want you can use any kind of rub you want I mean I'm just using these two but really whatever you want. So another thing I want to add is that when you take the meat out of the fridge and you put the rub on there and do whatever you want, um, you want to let it sit for about 30 minutes or so about basically when it gets to about room temperature uh, You don't have to thick stick a thermometer in it or nothing like that Just you know give it a good feel if it's still cold like it just feels like it just came out of the fridge then you don't want to do it but 
go ahead and just leave it out for a while until it starts to cool down it's not so cold and then you can go ahead and get your Traeger prepped up and uh, ready to get smoking so to give you guys a little bit of an idea um, I have myself a Traeger 22 uh, so for my pellets this time I went ahead and got the premium uh, paid a little more for it I kind of wanted to do a different flavor I've been sticking with the normal basic brand of pellets and uh, wanted to go ahead and change it up I've also come across a couple of people that have told me that they've also blended some together um, I haven't really looked into much research on that but today I'm gonna go ahead and add this in and it's towards the end of its life so I'm gonna go ahead and top this off blend it around so in the beginning it's gonna get both at the same time and then it will just end up with just this so, so if you guys are like me again haven't had Traeger experience generally roll thumb is this great down here you want to wrap that in foil it saves you so much trouble and you change it you know every about three or four cooks depending on what you're cooking after this I'm probably gonna change it out and put new foil on it but it saves a lot of cleanup and you also want to take a vacuum or a shop vac and clean out all the dust in here pretty regularly I wouldn't say every time but if you do a long cook I would do it but if it's short cooks you know every couple hours and each cook whatever it's not that big a deal but last thing you want to do is cause a fire so here we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna go ahead and turn it to smoke we're gonna let that go so I can start to hear it fall into the pit. Once I start hearing it fall into the pit, that's really when I'm gonna shut it, let it smoke up. All right. So I'm just gonna let it go and a lot of smoke will come out. And then once it starts to dim down a little bit, that's when I'll go ahead and crank up the heat to a low temp and go from there. All right, so I have it to my temp, about 180 is where I want to keep it right now. Uh, another cool tip is I would really suggest getting this. This really helps out quite a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and slap this bad boy on there. So you also want to get a probe. Stick it in this port right here. check the probe every couple hours until it gets to about 165 and then that will be our next step so just so you guys know I went ahead and cranked it up to 225 after about 30 minutes um, just started noticing that it was producing a lot of smoke and gave my cousin a call and he let me know that 180 is still technically smoke even though it's not a smoke setting it's 180 is still the temp for our smoke so um, didn't want my neighbors to get upset with me so I uh, cranked it up to 225 and uh, yeah we'll see how long it goes and just about 20-30 minutes we'll check the probe and see what the internal temp it is as of right now it's at 50 so it's getting there so we'll get back when it gets to 165 all right so we're about two hours in now on the dot and uh it's sitting you know, around 245 it keeps going up and down uh, check the probe all right and so we're about 130 internal so Probably another about an hour or so, and uh, we'll be able to do, go on to the next step. Get back with you guys when it gets to 165. All right, guys. So it's almost three o'clock now, and come out here. 
Still roughly about 225. And the internal tank is still at about 157. It's getting close to there, but I've been fighting it. It's been about 150 range for the past hour, hour and a half. Um, so I went ahead and checked in with my uh, Traeger website on Facebook and asked for some pros and some tips about this. Just like I said, I'm new to this, just like all of you guys. And uh, this is basically a stall point. Um, there's nothing much I can really do. Um, it will eventually go up in time, but my goal was about 160 to 165. So what I'll do is I'll uh, take this off and I will foil it up, wrap it up, put it back on, put the probe back in and uh, keep it at 225 still and uh, keep going. All right guys, so I still have it at 225 right now. The temperature is at 260 degrees, so it's pretty high, but set at 225. The probe is now at 172, so it is climbing. So it is working now. Um, went ahead and already foiled it. So it's got foil wrapped around it, but the problem is still inside. So now I'm just gonna sit here and wait, and uh, wait till it gets a little bit higher. So we'll see how it goes. You guys, it's almost about five o'clock. And this is going a lot longer than I expected. But, 220 right now, an internal temp of uh, 188. So the foil is definitely cranking that sucker up quite a bit. So uh, looks like I'll be able to keep her going until the girl gets home. Keep you informed. All right, so it's now 6.30 and we started at 11. So. I just checked it and it's about ready. So, I'll go ahead and. This is why I said you need this. This is a must. Alright, so, check it. And it's at 201. It's about ready. Get back to you guys when I take it off. All right. Now, just so you guys know, make sure you guys turn it down to shutdown mode. Let it. It's gonna stay on for a minute, but eventually it will turn off, and then that way you can actually turn it off itself. But you gotta do its little cycle. All right. So, still in the foil, on the tray, and so now I'm gonna let it sit. It's 6.30, so about 7 o'clock, I'll go ahead and open her up, and I'll cut her open. All right. 